Right, what have we got? Miami Mall interview. CERN. Portals. Miami Mall aliens. We got it all, mate. Okay. Um, I, as normal, I don't know where to start. So I'm just going to start talking. Okay. So a while ago, <clears throat> I got an email. Is even an email or a tweet? And I'm talking like this is near the beginning of the of the year when the Miami Mall thing happened. Okay. Uh, somebody messaged me saying that the Miami Mall incident already happened in 2023. And I was like, what? That's crazy. Um, and then I, I, I think I looked into it a little bit or something like that. And maybe I just thought, oh, I'll talk about that at some point. But I got so much influx of videos and clips and stuff like that. I probably just forgot about it. And um, and I suppose thinking about it now, there's probably a reason why I didn't talk about it. Because there is, it, it, it's it's very strange, absolutely, that pretty much the same thing happened in 2023 on um, January the 1st. But it was not enough to go, wow, until now when I'm going, actually, hang on a second, this can actually mean other things. Right. So let me just digress slightly. In 2023, on the 1st of uh, January, police, a large amount of police came to the mall because there was reports of fireworks being set off in that mall by a bunch of kids. That's strange, right? That literally sounds exactly the same thing as what happened in 2024, all right? But I think three kids were arrested and there wasn't half as many, like, police cars, or not even half, I think a quarter amount, right? So it wasn't really a grand thing, right? It, this, this is actually, I'll show you quickly the, um, the video of the report, okay? This is a year ago. Now to a developing story out of Biscayne Bay, a chaotic scene near Bayside Marketplace after dozens of police cars flooded the area. Yeah, police say it all started after a group of teenagers became unruly. According to investigators, some were fighting and others were setting off fireworks, which then led people to believe they heard gunshots and that just caused panic. Officers quickly responded to the scene. Three people are now in custody. Like literally, you could have, <laughs> you could have just copy and pasted that for this year right and gone yeah the same things happened it's strange right real big coincidence now what sort of webbed out from this is the connection between that and cern now if you haven't heard of cern cern is a company now like i haven't researched as much as i probably should have about cern okay from what i can gather CERN is a company in Geneva that has built something underground, like a huge tunnel, a round tunnel under Geneva, right under the ground. And what they're doing is they are firing off particles at the speed, almost the speed of sound with massive amount of energy. And they're trying to collide them, right? They're trying to create more particles <clears throat> and also have, it could maybe explain like the big bang and things like that that's what they're trying to do that's what they claimed that they're trying to do now you can go down the dark side of of the story or keep to that side of the story the dark side of the story is that the whole fundamental idea of cern is built on very dark ideas and very dark things happening like there's a video going around of like rituals and stuff like that and their symbol is um like a some sort of goddess that is a goddess of destruction or something like that it, it's it's quite dark okay but the connection between that and miami mall is well look they're trying to create black holes and what they have done is they've created a black hole or some sort of time, a portal, I should say, sorry, a time portal. And this is where people are connecting the dots, right? Let me show you this video. In Switzerland, on December 29th, 2023. No coincidence, I'm sure, that that's the same location that CERN's particle accelerator's at. And the date, right? December 2023. Right? 
Listen again. December 29th, 2023. No coincidence. December 29th, 2023. The same location that CERN's particle accelerator's at. So it's the same location the CERN accelerator. Like literally underground there is the accelerator. Okay. Um, and here's here's another. No denying this one. Everyone believe it. Imagine being in CERN, right? Okay, right. First of all, I, I'm I'm sorry. Like, I have got an open mind, but I've got to call bullshit on this, right? Imagine working for CERN. You press a button, or you you push the dial a little bit too much, and that shit starts going up in the sky. You'd be like, "Boss, I'm so sorry." You're like, "What have you done? What have you bloody done?" Right? <laughs> I just don't think that's. First of all, I think that's CGI. Second of all, if that was happening, there would be 553,221 video footage of people in there going, oh my God, what the hell is happening? Okay. But I can understand why people are connecting the dots because obviously the 29th of December, 2023, like a day before what happens in Miami Mall. So basically they're saying that that portal is responsible for the portal that opened up in Miami Mall. All right. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, which I just I just think is a little bit far fetched. I think first of all, like I say, that's CGI. It's it's really like I'm not I'm not denying that there could have been some sort of portal that opened up in Miami Mall, but I don't think it's that. Right? But I also think that it does worry me a little bit what CERN are doing it's concerning <laughs> right it really is because just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should do something right i just i don't know when you're starting banging like particles together and trying to open up certain things and creating more stuff it's like just just why just why and, and the, i want to show you this video of a a girl that Bless her cotton socks. She always gets so much hate in her comments, but, right? Listen to this. They're trying to open a portal. They've actually done it before. The last time was in 2016. On July 5th, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, is restarting the Large Hadron Collider. The LHC has been in use since 2010, and it just had some updates done, and now it's firing up again. But it's not a conspiracy. They're being very clear about what they're doing. The LHC collides particles at extremely high speeds and watches what happens to see if they break apart or form new things. And that gives clues about how the universe itself and everything in it formed. It also helps us understand what the universe is composed of, including things like dark matter. But the LHC has... <laughs> Clean dark matter? Yeah, that doesn't sound good, love. <laughs> ...has never created a wormhole or a black hole ever. And it probably never will, but if it did... Probably never will, but it could do. <laughs> ...did create a black hole, it might not be a bad thing. The black hole... It would might be not be a bad thing. <laughs> microscopic and it would disintegrate immediately but we would learn so much about the universe yeah, listen, also, listen, listen, black listen. holes are, may not be a bad thing the black hole would be microscopic and it would disintegrate immediately but we would learn so much about the universe also black holes aren't intrinsically dangerous it's just a massive object they don't suck things in anyways the LA i thought they did i thought black holes had an immense amount of like a gravitational pull that's I thought a black hole was a collapsed star, right? That like if you have a planet or a star, it has its own gravity, right? So when you crunch it together, it still has that same amount of gravity. And that's what I thought a black hole was. Right? It just implodes and then causes a black hole and everything gets sucked into it. That's what I thought it was, but clearly she knows more than me. LHC can achieve an energy that no other particle accelerators ever have before, but that doesn't even compare to what happens in nature. Cosmic rays collide with particles in the Earth's atmosphere at much greater energies and we're fine. And nobody is trying to open a portal to another dimension. They're trying to find evidence of other dimensions, but that just means discovering new tiny little particles. But are you saying, like, okay, I've got to just break this down a little bit. They said that they're not trying to find other dimensions, but if they did, 
right? Are you are you trying to tell me if they did see other dimensions, they curiosity wouldn't kill the cat? They would be like, mm, what should we do with this? Should we try to go there or should we try to do something with this? They would, naturally, they would. Little to another dimension. They're trying to find evidence of other dimensions, but that just means discovering new tiny little particles. You couldn't go to another dimension. And just to be clear, they've never done this yet. Nobody's ever discovered an unknown dimension. So this is all there yet. Anyway, so that's basically her version of what's going on in CERN, which I think that, yes, you could pull that apart and rip it to pieces and say, actually, yeah, but what if, what if, what if? But that's pretty much CERN in a nutshell. Again, we've spoken briefly on the dark side of it, which a lot of conspiracy theories are out there about that. I, I wanted to address that because there is a lot of talk about it at the moment, okay? Now, so this part now is a big shout out, by the way, first of all, to the Scream Scene, the channel, the Scream Scene. Make sure you go to that channel, subscribe and do the thing. I contacted them. They said, yeah, absolutely, Ben, go ahead and um, use the content. This is a Miami Alien Survivor interview. This isn't going to be sort of like your, your, your 30 second TikTok video of somebody saying, yeah, I saw this, I was there. This is a highly detailed version of what's gone down. This person was actually there, high detail. I'm probably going to, well, I'm going to watch the whole thing and um, I'll either just play the whole thing and let us like, you know, talk about it, or I'm just going to show some highlights. But I've not seen it yet, so I'm I'm interested to see what this this guy um has to uh, well what, what he could bring to the table. I've seen that I say I haven't seen it. I've seen the first like I've scanned through it and I thought, oh, this is interesting. Right here we go. Steve, you are the only person I know <laughs> personally that was at this event that just took place in Miami. They're calling it aliens, from what you've told me. It seems like you believe you believe that too. Um, how did this all happen from the Hard Rock to the Bayside Mall? Just kind of walk us through. First off, why were you, why were you even at the Hard Rock? Well, my sister came down for vis to visit me, so I took her down to Miami to the Hard Rock down there to do a little gambling, have a little fun, and you know we got tired of gambling for a little bit and she wanted to do some you know shopping to go out and buy some stuff you know for for the kids take back home so well i said the mall's not too far from here let's go to the mall so that's what we did like 40 50 minutes away something yeah, like that yeah and um you know went in the mall we were gonna get something to eat while we were there and everything but we're walking around just kind of looking and everything and all of a sudden i hear these scream people started screaming i'm not sure if i heard gunshots to begin with we heard something like pop 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 mm -hmm. But I, I didn't really sound like a gun to me. But then <laughs> these people are running by us. They're panicking. And I'm going, oh, fuck, what do we do? Do we walk into a movie scene? You know, because well, you know, there's film production scenes going on. Maybe we got we slipped by and maybe they're making a movie. Right. And, but these people are running. There. They actually knocked my sister down for a second. She got up and she was scared. I was kind of scared. I thought it was, you know, maybe someone's in there shooting at, at people. I can't know which right. happens. And then I seen like two or three SWAT guys run past me and I looked the way they were going mm -hmm. and I could see it looked like these big tall, maybe 10, 12 foot tall. The best I can say is they looked like they were shadows, but yet, you know, they wouldn't. They, they were solid. You could tell they were solid. And they were tall. Kind of make you think of the average alien that you would see on TV, you know, the big tall. Did alien. it look like an alien? Like the shadow of an alien? It, well, it looked humanoid, but not wow. humanoid. And, you yeah, know, because no human that we know of is 10 or 12 feet tall. So, I mean, people that's... People were still running by me, scared. People were falling down and running. And I'm sitting there thinking, what the hell is it? I'm still thinking we walked into a movie. It, it, it was just like something out of a freaking nightmare. Like, and it was real. I mean, like these big, tall, like shadowy things. And, and I looked over at you and I was like, you were gone. It was, it was like there were so many people from that mall just running and screaming and i mean it was I don't, it, it was it was scary it almost kind of reminded me of uh you know like 9 11 and all that shit when the towers fell and all that that was kind of scary but you know it was all the smoke remember when the towers fell and all the smoke came and, and i mean it was just like all the smoke but it was the shadows of this image and they were coming at you and I don't know, man. It was like a freaking nightmare. And 
it seemed like, you know, it took me forever to find you. And that, I don't want to ever come back down there if that's going to be a case like that. Because, you know, this shit fucking, that was, that was pretty damn scary. Production. Right. You know, I wasn't How? really scared. But all of a sudden, my sister was running with all the people. She, she took off. So I took off, too, because I didn't, I don't know what it was. I didn't want to get ate by an alien. Right. <laughs> if that's what it was. Straight off the bat, mate, this is crazy, and they they uh, they seem. I, I always say this. I, I might turn my <laughs> I might turn my channel name into sounds pretty legit, <laughs> but it does, right? It was and people but, were saying that like they thought fireworks were going off or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it sounded like pop, pop, pop to me, but it didn't sound like a big shotgun blast or an AR-15 or anything like right. that. Right, because I remember when um, the graffiti artist he started speaking about it. Um, that when he was watching, he heard, he saw this digital stuff going everywhere from this portal, and then, and the top there were the police officers shooting, going pop 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 like shooting in this direction. And it was off in the distance behind me. I mean, it could almost sound like someone was taking uh, light bulbs and busting them, pop pop pop. You oh know, wow! Light bulb sounds, and then there was a buzzing sound. The buzzing sound, the best I can describe. It. I don't know if you ever heard heard those transformers when they were getting ready to blow the like the ones that are on like on power the, poles and stuff power, pole, power yeah. cable lines. that's what it kind of sounded like and then you could smell like i guess maybe like burning wires mm -hmm. there was that kind of smell in the air too Ooh. so i didn't see anything but i'm thinking in my mind a pop 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 it might have been the electrical bulbs and some kind of thing that popped right because that's what it sounded like a transformer exactly uh, but inside the mall, though, that's where you... you yeah, there's no Transformers in right. there that you know of. <laughs> yeah, there's no Transformers in there that you know of. <laughs> threw up in the attic or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I tell you what. I always believed there's aliens, but then I backed them and thought, ah, fuck, they're never going to be here. Mm -hmm. But I think they really were aliens. Because uh, when I, we got outside, man, I bet you there was 40 or 50 cop cars all over the place. Sirens running. Cops were right. all in panic mode, too. You know, like I said, those two, three guys, two, I think it was three SWAT guys, run by me. And I say SWAT because they had the vest on and they had their AR-15s. Wow. They were, you could tell when they, the look on their face, they were scared. They didn't know what they were running into. Wow. Yeah, I would have been freaking out, dude. I mean, just, just hearing, like... The <laughs> See, something like that, I like this this guy here, that he's experienced this. Um, That's got to be life-changing, right? I suppose part of your brain would be like, the, the longer it goes on, maybe your brain would be like, no, it wasn't true. It was just your imagination. It was this, it was this, it was this. And that's probably how you would end up dealing with it, right? But to actually experience something like that, a 10-foot shadow alien being, that's got to be life-changing. I wonder if he slept well after this. The way you're describing it, even your sister, she's supposed to be sending us a video here in a second about what she experienced, but she was saying that there was, as these things were coming towards everybody and people were running, not only was that, that she did mention the sound that you just talked about, but she said that it smelled like every, every step that these things got closer of burning wire, she said. Yeah, that's what it smelled like to me too. So, wow but yeah i said I I, I I know what that smells like a burning wire because i remember ages ago my shower started going on the blink the wiring in the shower started, which doesn't sound good it wasn't good it's a really sweet like perfume smell yeah a really a real strong like not a not very nice perfume smell it's horrible i'm not really sure the only thing i know is like when we get outside the police kept pushing people away. Right. So, you know, I don't know actually what happened mm -hmm. because they, I mean, when I say away, they pushed us far away. They made us go, we got in their cars. They escorted everybody out of the parking lot. Do you think that's because they knew what was going on and they were trying to possibly cover it I, up quickly or? I don't know. That also um, is a bit suspicious is because every police officer now has to have one of these cameras on them, right? If, they wanted to cover what happened up and there wasn't uh, sorry not cover it up if they wanted to prove that nothing out of the ordinary went on there wouldn't they just release all of those cam footage footage they'd be just like look nothing went on 
Okay, we just went in there. We, yeah, there's loads of people um, running and stuff because we we're firing, but that's it. There was no shadow beings. Wouldn't they just release that cam footage, the, the chest cam? No, I don't think they knew what was going on from the looks of most of those cops. They were standing behind their cars like, is somebody going to shoot me? You know, they were like, scared. right. I mean, you know, you could see fear in people's face when you know, they're, you're in battle. Mm -hmm. And that was the kind of fear I saw of these cops. They thought they were going to walk into something that may not come out of Oh, it. gosh. You can just see it. So from a winning streak at the uh, casino to the Bayside Mall, I know you had mentioned you guys were going to go to like Bubba Gump's and get a bite to eat or something like that. Um, had you guys ate yet whenever you were doing your shopping? No, we hadn't ate yet. We were going to eat, but we hadn't. We just, you know, left it. I don't know what time it was, maybe 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm not really sure. Because we stayed up all night long playing. <laughs> and, you know, when you're there 24 hours, you, you kind of lose You track lose track. I've walked out of casinos <laughs> at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, oh, my God, it's daylight. Yeah, you don't realize um, So, So you heard the pops. You heard the sounds. Mm, there was smell. a smell of burning wire. Yeah. People were running frantic. There was tons of cops. This and those thing, figures, when I saw them, you could tell they were coming towards us. Right. But I, I, they didn't look like they were walking like a person would walk. You know, if anything, they were kind of like sliding across maybe the thing. Maybe oh. like hovering? Yeah, it could be. And this is why some people think that it's like a projection, right? Because I'm not being funny. If you had a projector and you wanted to scare people um, with an image of an alien, a 10-foot alien it would be very difficult to project an image like that where the feet are touching the floor, especially if it's going through, like, closer to you, because you would have to literally... The planning that it would take to make it look like feet are touching the floor would be unbelievable, right? So it would be easier to create an image which it just, it just comes towards you, right? There's no, like, feet or anything. It just comes towards you. That would be so much easier. And very well could be. Like I said, looked like they were shadows, but at the same time, you couldn't see what was behind them. They were like a really dark figure. And it's not like the ghost figures like I've seen before. And stuff right. Like Nothing like that. Not like a paranormal, no. like, uh, it shadow wasn't, figure. Wasn't paranormal. I'm positive of that. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. You, you're, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be news stations and, and reporters and maybe even the FBI showing up to talk to you because, you know, a lot of these people, for some reason, and, and I get it, a lot of people are saying, well... This is the other... He just mentioned something there as well, actually. Um, there's one thing doing a quick TikTok video and being dismissed or, you know, mocked or whatever like that. But to sit down and actually go through detail of a 16-minute interview when he just said, like, you could get visitors now with the police, the FBI, and things like that. I mean, you know, that would be enough for him to go, actually, uh, no, nah, I, I, I didn't see anything. He didn't, I didn't see anything. Honestly, nothing happened, you know? But he's, you know, he's sitting there and saying, yeah, absolutely, mate. If you want to ask me something, crack on. Well, if all this was happening, why didn't people pull out their phones? It's the mm. last thing you would think yeah, of. Yeah, it was the last thing that you'd think of. And of right. course, I had my phones in the car. I didn't even take my phone in with me. Right. And um, you don't think about that as a rule. Yeah. I mean, because everything happens so fast. If there was I did see this um, interview, actually, of somebody who's a very famous with the, the alien, the UFOs. I can't remember his name now. I'll probably feature him at some point. Um but he did say something that that can be transmitted, like alien technology can be transmitted to phones that can just stop you recording or erase your footage or give you uh, unvisible footage, right? I mean, if you if you think about it, aliens are high tech, more likely we assume that what what's the they, they could just transmit something out there. All technology just goes down. You can't record, you can't take photos, anything like that. And there was also another um, story where police were asking people to um, wipe their memories. Uh, not their memories. It's not like men in black. You know, go on their phones and delete anything. They were checking people's phones before letting them out. It was a shooting. I mean, the last thing you would do is pull out your phone and yeah, you didn't know what was going on. Whatever, yeah. 
And like I said, I, I still, in my mind, thought it was a movie production, and because it just seems like seemed unreal. Movie. Yeah, and, uh, just hard to believe. But I did think it was an active shooter to begin with, the way the people were running and screaming, and I thought, well, you got, we got to get out of here. Because, you know, bullets would go flying. I didn't want my sister to get hit. I ain't worried about myself, but... Right. When you seen the the big figures never seeing nothing like that before, it probably clicked in your mind, well, maybe this is a projection or something. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they were making a movie. Yeah. I bet I thought, well, maybe all these people were hired. How do we get in here? Honestly, <laughs> after you explaining it, like, I can see, I can see why you would think that and how you would think that, because um, it, it just seemed too sequenced. And, and unreal and and even when i looked at the footage of all those cops there oh, i've man, never were, seen nothing like everywhere. that i mean you know even active shooters before when you see usually maybe a dozen cops show up right this was three or four times that yeah it looked like they had every cop in the state there yeah but you didn't have anything like afterwards like any kind of like weird headaches or feelings or vibes i didn't myself i'm not sure about my sister now you know, i'll have to contact her and see if she felt anything but I was okay that way. Um, I actually wanted to go get my AR-15 <laughs> and go back in there, actually, but I figured, well, that'd be the wrong thing to try to do. <laughs> what, are you trying to do some alien hunting? Hell yeah. Um, yeah, what an experience, though, for her coming down oh, yeah. from Indiana. It freaked her out. Yeah, he would be coming back there again. Right. You hadn't seen her in a while. She hadn't been down, and and you guys hit the hard rock. Everything's going good. Next thing you know, people are running. You're hearing pop sounds. You're seeing these big old alien like figures heading towards because you. Because also, doing. I I did a um video, I did a video the other day uh about the Simpsons predicting right the fallen angel and the the solar flare. I, it just occurred to me that they also predicted aliens in Miami as well, right? Mate, what's going on there, man? Why, in my mind, why did they show up in a mall and how did they get inside the mall? Right, what? that's what it would have made me feel like. Damn, is this a movie? Yeah, because I just... Well, I've um, done a video about that. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll put it up here. Um, about where I did the Google Maps. Well, there you go, mate. What do you reckon about that? A lot of detail. Um, a lot of things which marry up to every, everybody else's, um, you know, accounts. So, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Stay with me because I've still got some more crazy stuff going on in this planet. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.